Hello. Hello. How are you? I am fantastic. All right. Good to hear. All right. So we called you here today just to hear a little bit about your passion, just what it is, how it be. My number one passion would be coffee. Yeah, would be coffee. Let's see, what can I tell you about coffee? I know everything about it, but there's, whew, there's too much to tell you. I mean, to, just to cap, you know, make it all short, there's different types of ways you can order your coffee. You can start with a macchiato, you can get a frappuccino. Frappuccino, for instance, is mainly just two shots of espresso, a little bit of caramel, whipped cream and ice. You can get a latte, a mocha. Uh, latte is just milk that's mixed in with coffee. It's boiled at a certain temperature. Cool. That's about the gist of it. Plus, it's extremely, extremely delicious. Um, my passion is Star Wars. Oh man, I watched every single episode of Star Wars. Live long and prosper, right? I'd have to say my favorite character in Star Wars is uh, Spock. He's really smart. He's not even, he's kind of half human. I like his hair, nice bowl cut. He's kind of a role model. Putin. Putin is very, very attractive. I love Russia. Russia is such a great and powerful country. It is so large and beautiful, just as the women are there. It goes from Siberia in the north to the ocean. It has vodka and potatoes and Kevin and Putin. My passion is my wonderful hair. Don't you think it's beautiful? I love going to the beach. I love having the wind flow through my hair. Did you know? I love hair so much, I know everything about it. I can tell you anything about it. And my friend, if you wash your hair every single day, you will damage it. And the best thing you can do, if your hair is dry, use coconut oil. It'll make it nice and shiny. You will look like a golden retriever. I mean, aren't those handsome dogs? Yeah, I love hair. It's guitars. There's so much different types. There's electric, bass, acoustic, classical. Seriously, you should look into all of this. It's like the C, the D, E, A, F. There's so much chords. It's just happy, you know? It's like, it's crazy. Oh man, it's hard to say. They are everything to me, literally. Hi. My passion is shoes. I love heels. There's Madden Girl, there's Gucci, Michael Kors, Kate Spade, and there's just so many more. There's just so many shoes. I mean, shoes are so amazing. Like, they protect your feet, and there's so many different styles. Like, oh, my blown. There's like sneakers and boots and sandals, but my favorite are the pumps. I love shoes. I love cheese. Did you know that they make cheese from the milk of like cows and buffalo and goats and sheep? Buffalo, how would you get buffalo? I don't know, but they're pretty awesome. For, they're like superhero cheese makers for finding buffalo. Yeah. My favorites are actually Havarti and brie cheese because they're very like soft and good and not too strong and they're just really really good they can make it like into sculptures too you can make it into a sculpture of cheese like how awesome would that be honestly cheese cheese i love my lips when i was just two years old i left my lips out in the cold and they turned blue what could i do when I just lost my tooth, I had to kiss my great aunt Ruth. She had a beard, and it felt weird. Ten days after I turned eight, I got my lips stuck in a gate. My friends all laughed. 
and I had to sit there until the fire department came, and they had to use a crowbar to break the lock, and I had to go to lip rehab for six weeks, and I met a guy named Oscar who got stung by a bee right on the lip. But we couldn't talk to each other for five more weeks because both our lips were swollen. But when we could talk to each other, he only spoke Polish, and I only knew like three words of Polish, but now I know like four because he also told me the word for lip. Usta! My passion is honestly Jesus Christ. He was, you know, he healed the sick, he healed the wounded, he, he like, he said, he was, he said, I am the true vine. Oh man, there's so much stuff, I don't even, I don't even know where to start. Can you uh, tell us approximately how many eyeballs he had? Two, that was two. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see, he's omnipresent, he's with us always, um, he fed people, made water into wine, um, was born in Bethlehem, there's a holiday named after him, Christmas, crazy, you know, you know I know everything about the game. What would you do if we took all your shoes away and we restricted your access to any shoe stores so you'll never be able to buy any shoes again? How would that affect you? Oh, um, well, I've never actually worn shoes. Wait, what? I've never worn shoes. Um... I actually never tried shoes. I just, I just know a lot about it. Kind of bears. Well, actually, I, I've never been to Russia. I actually never played a guitar. These are actually fake lips. I have no lips. Honestly, that would not affect me whatsoever. I'm allergic to coffee, so I can't have any. If I do, I die. Um, actually, well... Oops, I, I actually never really watched Star Wars. I actually, hmm, Star Wars. You say Darth Vader? You see, um, I have no hair. I don't, I don't think it would make a difference really. Like, what would change? I mean, I'd have a lot more free time on my hands because I'm not looking up. Little thing, little facts about him, but I really don't think it would change my life. It's not like it's not like I sat down on the couch with him and had a cup of tea, you know. It's, it's not. It's not like I personally know the guy. I mean, come on, who personally knows?